Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Mirror Neuron which means watch and learn and today we are going to discuss about polynomial regression. Now what is polynomial regression? It means that the relationship between my output variable and the input variable is no longer a linear straight line. Rather it's a polynomial regression it means it will have a non-linear relationship. So which, will, which we will see in a code in a moment that how the relationship is represented and how we can still use the linear regression model from our sklearn library to try to fit a data when the data is still non-linear. Alright, so let's look into the code directly. Okay, so in order to demonstrate polynomial regression, what we tried to do is uh, we have generated some random data here. Okay, again, we are using 100 records where n is equal to 100 and we are defining a random variable x where the relationship will be defined by y and we are using this expression 0.5 x square remember this is a polynomial regression so we are taking an x square here plus x plus 2 plus some random noise so that means my relationship if you see the plot below you can see the relationship between my y and x is something which looks like an x square kind of graph or like a more like an exponential kind of graph but this is not linear so that means i cannot attempt to fit a straight line so it will be a very bad model in that case so in such cases what we actually try to do is whenever we are dealing with a non-linear data we start with a very simple model we start with a model which looks like more like an x square kind of uh, model right so what we are going to do is first we have to make sure my features are formed in that way so we are going to use a module called polynomial features I will explain in detail uh, at the end of this video how these polynomial features work so what it shows is or what it does basically is suppose you have a variable x so here we have a variable x right in the very first and the polynomial features will basically create the combinations of all the degree of that variable so right now I'm using only a single feature and I have given it a degree of 2 if you see the second line poly underscore features is equal to polynomial features degree is equal to 2 so that means it's going to create a, a matrix consider this as a matrix so it will create basically two features one will be x square and another will be x okay for example if I had say two features which is say totally irrelevant from this particular project say I had two features a and B so it would have created something like a square then B square and then a B as well so basically it creates a combination of all the features as long as it makes sure the degree is 2 so again I will just repeat this again so suppose if I had two features a and B so it will create basically three features now so it will have a square which is of course the degree 2 then it will create b square again this is a degree 2 and then it will take a product of a and b again it's a degree 2 so that uh, that's why it will create three features that's the main purpose of this polynomial feature so instead of we handwriting or you know or hand coding all these feature combinations polynomial features does it very easily for us and that's the main purpose of this polynomial feature okay so once we apply this fit transform to my data which is a single variable in this case so it will generate all these combinations for me so my data set now is x underscore poly instead of x because i need the x square as well i could have very easily created two different vectors and then you know added them into a matrix which is totally up to you but then polynomial features makes it so easy for us all right now now that we have my data set ready in line number 44 what I'm going to do is same exact thing that we have done in case of linear regression for my linear model in my previous example we are just trying to fit my linear regression model and in this case I am passing a non-linear data set okay 
and you can see it's the the method as i was keep repeating this the methods are exactly the same it will first instantiate a linear model which is by linear regression open and close parenthesis then it will try to do a dot fit which means it's trying to learn the model parameters or the coefficients and the intercept and using those intercept and the coefficient it will then try to predict on my new data set which is in line number 48 i am trying to pass a new values of x and in this case i am taking 0 2 and 5 and i want to predict what would be my values for y so before i can pass this value i am converting them again into my uh, nonlinear relationship which is x square and x and on the predict method i can pass this data set all right so you can see that my y predict has has predicted three values which are 2.1777 and so on thus for the x is equal to 2 it has predicted 5.9748 so on and for my x as 5 the predicted y value is 18.9490 and so on now if i compare this with my original value and my original expression was 0.5 x square plus x plus 2 plus some random noise right that was my original expression and if I plug these values of new x so the first value of x is 0 which is in line 48 so if I pass 0 then I can see my original is y original would have been 2 but what did I predict I predicted 2.1777 very very close so that means my model did not do so bad right it was still able to predict it okay so my next value of x was 2 so my original value would have been 0 0.5 times 2 square plus 2 plus 2 so the original value would have been 6 but what i have predicted is 5.9748 which is again very very close to my original value and my third x value or the new value or the unseen value was 5 so my original value would have been 19.5 but what did I predict? I predicted it has to be 18.9490. So whatever these differences were, these are basically because of those noise or I did not have sufficient features or sufficient amount of data to minimize that error. So those we will see as we progress in our projects and course, we'll see how those things are also taken into account. But for the time being, what you have seen is how to apply a linear regression model, which tries to fit a non-linear model so that means your linear regression still works as long as your model is uh, if even if the model is complex right here it was not a linear model rather it was a non-linear relationship okay so i hope you have learned something new today and this is how we fit a polynomial regression uh, data all right thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel okay so let's explain how that polynomial features method from the Scilearn library works. So basically say you have a matrix of uh, features and your output variables. So your features are basically your TV and your radio. So what the polynomial feature will basically try to do, for example, and if I'm trying to create a feature of degree three, right, degree is equal to three, so what my uh, polynomial features method will do is first so already it has two features so it has tv and radio then it will try to create a feature for tv square it will try to create a feature for uh, radio square because it's a degree three so it will try to create a feature for tv cube then it will try to create a feature for radio cube all right then after that it will also try to create something like tv square times radio and then it will try to create something like radio square tv as well so that means and and another would be tv times radio as well so basically it will try to create all the possible combinations up to the degree three so the basics these were the two original features but then it created tv square radio square tv cube radio cube tv square times radio radio square times tv and then tv times radio as well so what 
so this is very handy because otherwise you have to create that many number of vectors manually and then add them to create a data frame and uh, you know that it gets messy if the degrees are more so for example if i had four degree here then imagine the number of combination would just be 2 to the power 4 of 16 so that will be very much uh, you know messy so what happens is rather use this polynomial feature uh, module and that is what we have used uh, you know in case of our project just now and because we had a single feature so it just created uh, the x and the x square okay I hope you have get, got an understanding of how these polynomial features work. Alright, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and support us uh, and have a nice day.